Hi there, this is Eric Larson with the Assistive Technology Department for Long Beach Unified School District. In this video, we're going to be talking about one of the features in the Read and Write for Google tool um, on a web page. And so the tool that we'll be talking about today is the highlighting feature. Now, this tool can be used for a variety of um, purposes for your students. Um, for instance, you can have students from a, a website highlight um, nouns a certain color, adjectives another, and verbs. If they're doing research for a paper, they can, re uh, they can highlight certain key points. And then when, what we're going to be able to do is aggregate all of those highlights and move them into a Google Doc, and it will cite it. So I'll give you an example here. We are on a website about trees. So let's say that you wanted your students to use this tool and to collect characteristics of certain trees and highlight them a certain color and put them into a Google Doc. Maybe they're going to write a paper about it later or whatever the activity is. Let's go with the American Elm. OK, so I'm on this site here, and it's giving different characteristics of the American Elm tree. All right, let's go ahead and activate our Read and Write for Google toolbar. Once you click on it up in the extensions, it will appear here. All right. So here are your different colors for the highlighting feature. We have blue, pink, yellow, and green. Let's just say for this purpose, and again, it depends on your activity, but let's just say you wanted your students to highlight in yellow the characteristics of the American Elm. So let's go ahead first and simply dragging across. Let's highlight that in yellow. Let's scroll down, okay. Uh, it is a shade tree, make that yellow. Okay. Let's say an elegant vase shaped crown. It's another characteristic will make yellow. It has distinct sawtoothed leaves. Learning some stuff about the American elm today. Yellow fall foliage. And what else? They can thrive in urban environments. Very resilient tree. All right. Now, again, depending on the activity, you could have the students do different colors. But for the purposes of this, let's move on and aggregate these characteristics. So. One thing before I do that is to show you how to clear a highlight if you would like. Let's say I wanted to clear this highlight. In other words, remove it, simply highlight it again, and click on this little broom, and it will clear it. All right, let's aggregate our highlights. Here's the, um, the icon here. Collect hi Highlights is what it's actually called. Let's click on that. It's going to ask you if you had done multiple colors. Do you want to do all of the colors? Yes, I do. Or if you only wanted to do select ones. And you can change the position in terms of by position or by color. We'll do position. And we'll click OK. Over here, you'll see it's collecting our highlights. It is opening up a new Google Doc, which if the students logged into their drive, will be right in there in their drive. You can put it in a certain folder. But here are all of our characteristics highlighted for the American Elm tree. And it gives the students uh, account email there, in addition to citing where this information came from. And from there, they can edit this Google Doc you know, to start a paragraph or what it is. Well, that's the text highlighting feature within Read and Write for Google um, on a web page. Thanks for tuning into this video. And remember, you have the power.